Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it is the 20th of July. It is currently 9.39 in the morning. Um, thought I'd just jump on here and film a day in my, a day in my life. It's been a hot minute since I posted a video. I've uh, been kind of feeling in a little bit of a rut lately. Um, I think it's just a lot of stress from moving and like I started my MBA on Monday um, and Odin is definitely going through like the terrible twos right now. So um, I just need to jump back into it, kind of just feeling nervous when I try to start again and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd just ease into it by filming a day in a life today. So just take you on, take you guys on a little vlog. Um, yeah, uh, not too much going on. I do have a couple of new like airy and American Eagle pieces that I'm going to show you guys in this video. So I'll do like a mini haul. I didn't think it was enough for like a, an actual haul. Um, yeah. So I'll show you guys that. I'm actually just about to make breakfast. Uh, Odin and Josiah, like o Josiah took Odin to school and Josiah's gone to work. Um, sorry, the dogs need to go. Um, but yeah, so uh, so I got, I help Josiah get Odin ready in the morning and be nice. <laughs> and um, so yeah, I get, I, get his, I get him out of bed and get his breakfast ready and um, get him like dressed and put his shoes on. And well, like it's just, I usually gets up at like five in the morning. He works out or stretches or like whatever. And then he showers while I get Odin ready. And then he takes him to school. So like Odin's in preschool now. Um, he's a little bit early to start preschool, but um, we wanted to minimize the amount of transitions because technically he would start in September. So it was just easier to start him in July in preschool rather than him going to like the toddler room and then going to preschool like two months later. Yeah, so like I said, I'm about to make myself breakfast. I have the same thing almost every morning. So I'll show you guys. So yeah, the light's horrible. So every morning I have like these Revive Superfood smoothies. So this one's orange and sea berry. It does not want to focus. Yeah, so this one's orange and sea berry. Um, this one is like 200 calories. Like they're all like slightly different. They don't have much protein. Like this one actually has a lot of protein in comparison to other ones. So this one has eight grams of protein. Um, so it has mandarin oranges, pineapple, banana, carrots, sea buckthorn berries. Uh, pumpkin seeds, pea protein, chia seeds, and flax seeds. Um, so I get these delivered. This is actually a Canadian company. Uh, I think it's based in Ontario. I don't know if it says here. Mississauga. Yep. Um, so that's awesome. And it like it literally comes like it's all like whole foods. I just put it with water. I was letting it thaw out a bit because like this is all like stuck and like the water was stuck up here and it wouldn't turn on. Um, and then where is, oh, and then I like to put green, like a green juice powder in with it. This one's actually empty. I've used the whole thing. Oh, one second. Excuse me. Come on in. Gibson. Gibson. In. Hey, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Gibson. Gibson in. Gibson in. Gibson. You're annoying, Sky. So right, we, sorry for the segue, but we don't have a fence yet. So we kind of just let our dogs out and they have like three little kids. I don't know if you can see, probably see them over there. But anyways, yeah, so they, all right, we have barking dog. Sky, relax. Oh, please ignore my dirty kitchen. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, I finished this. This is empty now. I got this on Amazon. I'll link it down below. I actually think it's pretty good. 
Um, I started drinking these smoothies. Um, well, these ones in particular because they're just like whole foods in here and it comes like ready to go. It's not like Booster Juice or Orange Julius or whatever that where it's all like syrups and like, you know, sh like preservative based uh, frozen fruits and whatnot. So that's why I got that. And then this, um, I was told if I start taking like green juices, it would help with my digestion and I feel like um, everything has been flowing a little bit better so I put a scoop of that in. Uh, I got the unsweetened one because I do put it in here um, but I am actually trying a different kind. I'm just going to experiment with different kinds. Um, it's uh, supposed to arrive this week um, and that one's like peach flavor so I'll have to drink that one with water um, and I'm going to drink that in the morning before I have my breakfast or my smoothie. So I think this is ready to go. I'm gonna turn it on. If anyone's wondering, I so I used to use the Nutribullet. Yeah, the bullet. And that thing died on me. Um, and I found the cups were so small that like even this with like water wouldn't fit in it. And so I got the, this Ninja and it's based for just smoothies. It doesn't come with like the big top on it. Um, but there do have ones that do have that and what I love about it, it has like this auto IQ and so it like blends itself it starts and stops so you don't have to like take it off and shake it which I would do with the Nutribullet and this is on sale at Canadian Tire so it's absolutely amazing um, and then you can get like I'll show you guys here you can get like different size like cups so like this one's huge like this one I don't know if it says how big it is no, there's no measurements on this one. Some of them have measurements and some of them don't. So like, but this is like massive. Like here's like a normal glass. Here's like a short glass. Yeah. So I, got, and you can buy extras, which I loved. All right. So I'm going to stop rambling and make my breakfast. Hey, right, So I made my smoothie. It's usually, this one's like usually orange, but because of the green juice, it turns green. It's really good. And you can't taste the green juice at all. Like I've had it in water and it kind of tastes, this guy stop crying. They're crying for the kids. Um, it kind of tastes like grass, like eating grass or green stuff. But like uh, when it's in the smoothie, you can't taste it at all. Um, and that's mostly probably because I got the unsweetened and it, they have like so many different flavors. There's so many different brands. Like I don't, I'm not educated enough into like what I should be looking for. That's why I'm like shopping around, but like overall, like that one seems to work for me. Um, I wanted to show you guys some of the other flavors of the Revive. So this is what I have. I showed you guys, I like, I get like 12 of them at a time and this is all I have left and I get them every Wednesday and Odin likes them as well. So this one's liquid gold. This one is only 120 calories. Mango, pineapple, carrots, papaya, ginger, pea protein, turmeric, flax seeds, chia seeds. Like, they're all whole foods. This one is strawberry zen. So it's mostly strawberries. There's some, like, see, like, they sneak zucchini in there, um, which is awesome because I can't get, like, Odin to, like, eat vegetables. And honestly, I don't eat that many vegetables myself. And, like, this one, for example, uh, Hazy cocoa. This I think this one has yeah, this one has zucchini in it too. It's not this one, but there's a uh, one that has like cauliflower in it and whatnot. Um, and they all taste amazing. Some of them I use um, chocolate soy or not soy protein, um, almond milk. And then most of them, like all the fruity ones, I just use um, I just use water. So I think I have I think I have a um, uh, coupon code so if you if I do I'll link it down below if you're interested um, I can't remember how much it is off but I'll link that down below and uh, honestly I think it's worth it and I feel like I'm not myself every day if I don't have this like I just don't feel good I kind of feel off um, I think it's just great to get like that nutrients in um, yeah so for the rest of the day um, I'm gonna dye my hair like like all, I don't know if you can see all these grays, like it's pretty bad. I can't believe I'm 31 and 
like I feel like a quarter of my head is already is already gray. I was going to make an appointment um, with a hairdresser because we're now open. I think last week we opened up for those type of appointments. I think we have indoor dining now and I know gyms opened. Um, so yeah, I, I was going to make an appointment, but honestly, uh, I'm not really sure what I want to do with my hair. So in the meantime, I'm just going to cover up these grays and then like figure it out and make an appointment. Um, I need to do some readings from MBA. So that's kind of boring. I'm trying to get ahead of things a little bit. And then, um, oh, I'm going to show you guys the area hall for sure. I just signed up this morning to go back. I'm going to go sit down. I don't know why I'm standing here. I'm going to go. I just, this morning I signed up to go to a CrossFit gym. So I'm going to start that tomorrow. I'm a little bit nervous. Like two years ago before we moved to Ottawa, I used to go to CrossFit Queen Street here in Kingston. Uh, it's like downtown and it's mostly like Queen students that go. Um, and then I stopped that because I found out I was pregnant and like I was trying to go, but it like really made me feel sick. But I, I just like, we have a full gym here. Um, I don't think I've shown you guys yet. I'll give you guys a tour and give you some updates on the house, but yeah, like, um, I don't think, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we have a full gym here and uh, we actually have like um, a Nordic Track S22i bike that we ordered twice now and we're having like shipping issues, but that's supposed to show up in like a month. Um, but I'm like the type of person that I really need like that motivation of like paying for something and like showing up and that accountability and like the environment. So hopefully the environment at Limestone Athletic um, it used to be called Limestone CrossFit or CrossFit Limestone, but when that scandal with um, the owner of CrossFit, I think he made like, I don't know if he made like a racist or like a homophobic comment or something, but he basically had to like sell the company and a lot of affiliates um, like got rid of the CrossFit name because of it, um, which like it, it honestly, I don't think really matters when you're well established. I like what like the like limestone and queen street are in kingston because like you basically can do the exact same thing without paying like for the name of it anyways random and so i used to go to Mavadi in ottawa and I, used, I fell in love with like step and which i usually am like more into like olympic lifting like powerlifting and whatnot but i fell in love with step which was completely random i think it was because of like the environment um and i was so dedicated and then like covid hit and then I couldn't go anymore so I definitely need that motivation so we'll see I, I have a free trial tomorrow at 9 15 we'll see if that like passes the vibe check um and I I just need I just need that like pull to like get me moving again we do want to start trying for another baby in the fall and honestly I don't feel like I am as healthy as I should be right now to start um, so definitely that's that's like a motivating factor as well it's not so much about like my weight which does kind of suck like I'm still heavier than I was um, pre Odin but like honestly I just want to feel healthy and I, I'm like I just don't feel incredibly healthy right now and so that that's another motivating factor to just start going to CrossFit, even though it's not CrossFit, it's still CrossFit. Um, yeah. What else is going on? I'll give you guys, a, yeah, I'll give you guys a little tour. Sorry, I'm rambling. I feel like I haven't hopped on here for a while, so I'm kind of like all over the place. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'll show you guys around. Sorry, the house is like an absolute mess. Please don't judge me. Um, I am working from home, but a lot of the time I am just working on school lately. Uh, so yeah. So I'm currently on the main floor. There is no upstairs. If you didn't watch our tour, I don't know what's going on. All right. If you didn't watch our tour, you have no idea. So like down here is the entrance. 
I have a, a lot of big ideas for down here. We haven't started any of them yet. Like you can see like the shoe rack is not being used. It's not even attached to the wall. Um, but yeah, so it's just two floors. It's kind of like a split level that you, if you're like from Canada, you probably see them a lot in the East Coast. So this is like our formal living room. Um, right, we have, again, haven't done much with it. This is just all of our furniture from our last house. Um, there's Odin's elephant just hanging out. He uses, uses that as a pillow. Um, we, so on this wall here, we want to do like a big feature wall like we did quick over here, like we did over here. So this is like black ship lap. I don't know if it's showing up very well. Again, the lighting's horrible. Maybe I should turn on all the lights. I don't know if that's any better. Yeah, but anyways, I don't think that's much better, but so it's black ship lap. Um, we kind of want to do vertical here and white and then have like a black feature like built in like I'll make built ins using like Ikea furniture so, like there's so many Ikea hacks out there on like Pinterest and Instagram and TikTok and whatnot so probably do that and then we'll have like the furniture will obviously move around everything will stay the same like we won't switch out the furniture other than like the rug like I didn't know we didn't I didn't really own rugs until our last house um and like these like don't ever buy a wool rug like I we try to get it professionally cleaned once and the rug um the rug cleaner was like don't ever buy wool rugs like even though like the, the best professional equipment doesn't like really clean it and like it when I try to vacuum it like pieces like fuzzies come off um yeah so we're gonna actually buy um ruggable rugs um they're the size I want they're like like $800 a piece so I'm just like waiting out we got like other priorities right now but like ruggable rugs if you're not familiar they um you they have like they're like I think they're like two layers so one is like the non-slip like the squishy layer and then there's like the top layer which is like the fabric and you can literally just like take it off and and put it into the washing machine and dry it and put it back out my only question is like I don't know if like do they get wrinkly easily or they like anti-wrinkle um, I don't know how that's gonna work but I just having a toddler and another one in the future like and two dogs like these little demons no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um they like there's just it, like this is a white rug like what was i thinking like that was not very smart um and then we want to get like a large sorry i thought i think i said none of the furniture was going to change but we want to get a um, larger coffee table we just feel like this coffee table is like so small for the area um, so we want to get like a maybe like two squares together or just like a larger rectangle and we want to bring some more like natural woods into here um, because I will show you guys so like our cough our dining table is this like live edge sorry <laughs> still has Odin's like crumbs on it um, but yeah there's like this live edge wood and then we just got live edge wood um for here and we're gonna have to stain it to look something like this um when we go into the garage i'll show you guys but yeah and then sorry it's a lot of movement and then the kitchen nothing like it's just the kitchen we're not doing anything right now in the future we want to change out like these like laminate or whatever like cheapy um countertops for like marble or whatnot um or quartz um but I don't think that's going to happen anytime in the future. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So soon I'm actually going to be painting the main floor white. This is the hallway to like the three bedrooms up here. And I'm going to be putting that the end of the hallway black, like a black feature wall with like pictures. Honestly, there's not much new over here. Um, Odin's room is like kind of sad right now. <laughs> I do have like big plans for it, but it's it's just kind of sad. And uh, our room, like I haven't even made our bed. Um, but so the only thing that's really changed in here, I don't 
don't know if you've seen some of my um some of my hauls from when I, we were in the other house but like there was like a cohesive theme it was like white gold and pink and um like this room just doesn't have any style now it kind of bugs me um but the new thing that we did in here is we did the pax closet um, I've been thinking about making a video about like this process and like tips and tricks and like w like a before and after. Um, so if you want to see that, let me know. Um, but it's awesome. Tons of storage. It's just me in here. Josiah's, all of his clothes go into that dresser right there. So yeah. And that room is empty. That's future baby's room. Yeah, overall, like the biggest the biggest change so far is this. So we found that our kitchen didn't have enough storage. And um, and I want I just felt like it was kind of really bland in here, so I wanted some sort of feature wall. And so we got these cabinets from IKEA. I'm thinking about doing a video about this process as well. Um, and so there's like tons of storage in here. Like I love IKEA cabinets, like that's all like tools. And we haven't put the, like the handles on it yet, but like, and then there's like three drawers, tons of storage, and these are the handles that we'll be like putting in here. Yeah. And then these are gonna be little accent like storage things that will go on the counter. And then I'm gonna be making like wood shelves, like floating shelves um, with like metal brackets there. Oh, you can see the ship a lot better here. So it's very black. So I just wanted it to look like all the walls to be like fresh and white, and then um, and then just have like pops of like black and like color and like woods, like a lot of neutral tones. I feel like right now, like especially like this living room, it looks a, looks a little bit like sterile. I guess you'd call it. I'll show you guys the gym too. There's like no excuse at all like there's a full gym we have weights the rower like a bunch of stuff over there um and then it's just gonna grow like in this box down there there is a another squat rack um uh, there's a battle rope we're gonna be putting in some turf for a um a sled as well um and then this so that's the, the gym side is Josiah's side and then like this side is my side so like I have the tractor like that's mine and then there's the live edge wood that we're going to be putting on in the pantry as a counter there's my like saw my tools and whatnot so I'm gonna make like pegboards to store all my tools uh yeah exciting stuff this is where we have store all of our cowboy boots <laughs> all right so I'm going to finish drinking my smoothie um answer some emails and then uh i'll show you guys the stuff i got from airy and american eagle <clears throat> so like i said um i wanted to show you guys some of like the new airy and american eagle clothes that i got um so start off are these like lacy um bralettes i think they're like super cute super comfortable this is like a nice like green I also got like um, this nude colored one that is the exact same as like this one and then I got a black one that is not racer back it's just like normal and the reason I was like inspired to buy these is because there's a uh, tiktoker I think her name is Mary Skinner I want to say um, like she's a like, gorgeous girl has like perfect like olive tone skin um like amazing hair but she's like always wearing like she has like pretty um like casual like style but she's always wearing like these type of like tanks like this one's from um, american eagle and like she has it open like this and she, you can like it like peeks through and i think it looks so good but she must have like ones that like come up higher um because like you obviously can't, can't see it 
Um, so I got th these, I got this tank. This is like a gray, like charcoal color. And I also got the white one. Um, and they're pretty short, like they're cropped. Um, I got them both in large. I've worn the white one. I haven't worn this one yet. Um, yeah, so that was the intent of getting these, but they, uh, like either way, like they're super comfortable um, and super flattering. There is like padding, like there's no um, push up, but there is like, um, I don't know if you can take them out. Like there's pads in here, like there's some support. Um, but like I said, like I think I'm right now, I think I'm a 36D. I don't really know what size I am to be honest. Um, cause I do generally don't like to wear like real bras. Uh, I like to wear like stuff like this or like sports bras. Um, yeah. So moving on or let me put it down here. Sorry for like the mess behind me. Um, but yeah, are these shorts from Aerie, which I absolutely love. I've already worn them. So they're like wrinkly. I think I, I wore them to like a trip to Ottawa this weekend. Um, so I got these in a medium. There's a lot of space in hand here. The best part about these is this like elastic back here. So like as you eat throughout the day, it like will grow with <laughs> will grow with you. I like that they're like longer in the back and like a little bit shorter in the front. Um, and like they are a little bit baggy in the butt. Like I wouldn't say they're like the most flattering. Um, they do have a little pocket on one side. I like to put my phone in here, so I appreciate that. And they're just like super comfortable. I love the like frayed hem and they're like stretchy. They're not like a, like a very like stiff jean material. So I really like these. Um, I was honestly, I've been wanting to, oh, let me put it up. I've been wanting to buy these forever, but the reason I didn't is because on the model, on the website, they, they have it like down like this. And I'm like, I don't want low rise. Like I need something to like cover the mom pooch. So yeah, that wasn't working for me, but I was like, and then I saw another YouTuber who had the, like had these in a haul. I think she's actually works with Aerie and she had them like high rise like this. Um, so I don't understand why like, in all of the photos on the website they're literally they're like all like low rise down here so that's not for me so just so you know they are actually high rise like it goes above my belly button you can <laughs> wear them down here if you want to um and then sorry i just gotta grab so i honestly i just got mostly shorts because i've been having such a hard time finding shorts that fit my thighs that aren't like like so tight here and when I sit down like I just regret wearing them that was like most of the shorts so I got a bunch of different shorts um and like no tops <laughs> I do have one like lounge set that I'll show you guys so just one second I'm gonna put these on okay so these ones are also from Aerie they also showed in um in their pictures that they were like look like they were low rise but again they go above my belly button these are in a medium as well but they actually a little bit less comfortable i've been like debating on and off of returning these i still have the tag on them and just getting the other ones that i had in black because like i really really love these um so but i'm like Come on, Kiona, like you need something a little bit more different. You can't just wear the same shorts. So these are a little bit shorter. Like I think my butt cheeks like right there. Um, and they just, they're just like a little bit tighter, like in this region here. Maybe it's cause I'm like trying to hike them up to be um, high rise, but they have the same elastic, um, a little bit more distressing here. Um, they do have multiple colors. Yeah, these are a little bit more cheeky for sure. I don't know. There's like the stretching, distress, the de-stressing on the butt as well. Um, but like right now they look fine, but like I feel like I'm getting a major frontal wedgie in them. So I don't know. I'm, I'm still on the fence. The problem is like the mall is so far away from us that like part of me is just lazy and doesn't want to return them. All right. Okay. So next up, 
Um, I have basically bought two, sorry, I bought two of the same shorts. Sorry, I need to get a wide angle lens. It's like, this is horrible. I bought two of the same shorts. Um, I've worn the ones that I'm wearing multiple times and I haven't worn these ones yet. These are like, um, like a khaki, khaki? I don't know, beigey color. Um, so these are from American Eagle, not Airy. I know they're like similar. They have no stretch in them, even though they like don't seem, they seem like they're a material that would. They're super soft, but they don't have any stretch in them. And, but why I was like encouraged to buy these is because of this, how it like gets cut here, it goes up. It looks like there's like a lot more room for like the, the thighs in here. I feel like these are built more for like curvy women who have like a smaller waist and bigger thighs rather than me who's like built like a bag of milk, like a rectangle. <laughs> um, so, but like, so I got these both in size 10. Um, I'll show you guys here. So these are like their tie dye jean ones. Um, see how they're like, there is tons of room for the thighs. These are size 10, like I said. Tons of room, feel great, but they're like tied up here. And then there's like a lot of room up here. So there's like this gaping back here. Um, I bought these before I bought the airy ones. If I would have, if I would have had the airy ones or known that they would have been good and known they would have been good, I probably like wouldn't have ever bought these American Eagle ones. It's just because of the, the way they shot the airy ones on the site like they looked like they were low rise but like i think they look good but like this it's just like this bugs me and how small the waist is in comparison to here because i tried the size 12 ones on and the legs were like massive like it just did not look good and then they fit me in the in the waist so it made it makes no sense like the fit of them for my body type doesn't make any sense and especially with this like extra material up here like am i supposed to maybe pull them down more. That's what I find, like I'm constantly like pulling them down. So I'm not gonna try on the other ones, they're the exact same shorts, but I do have a loungewear set, so just one second. Okay, so this is the loungewear set from Airy. Um, so I got the shorts in a size large. They are very large, like on me, but that's what I wanted. I didn't wanna feel constrained. Tons of room in the, thighs like tons definitely probably would have been comfortable in a medium but super comfortable and then I got the top in a medium it has a hood with functional drawstrings it's v-neck super soft super comfortable but like lightweight it's like not fuzzy it's like that what do they call it like terry terry cloth Am I saying that right? I don't know. Probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, material. God, I'm out of breath. Fucking mile a minute. Yeah. So it's just comfortable. Um, when I bought everything, everything was on sale. I think the shorts were like $30 each. Or I can't remember which ones. Ones were like $30 each and the other ones were buy one, get one 50% off. Uh, there's always sales, so you never have to buy something full price. I will link everything down below if you're interested. It's not sponsored or anything like that. Um, just if you're interested. Yeah. All right. I'm out of breath. I need to dye my hair. I'll show you guys that process. Um, there are lots of grays there. So I just use this like root touch up. If you guys are interested, I'll link it down below. Um, but um, a, I, this one, I, I kind of go back or uh, like back and forth because honestly I can't remember which one I use sometimes so this one's medium brown sometimes I think I use the darker one my hair is actually like pretty light right now I just hate how like orange it is but I'm just gonna do my roots like this is what, like I don't know what I want to do with my hair like I don't know if I want to go lighter on the ends or if I should just do like straight up like full brown like I like the length of it um like yeah, last night I took a shower like right before bed and then I slept on wet hair. So like this is what I have. Like I know you're supposed to dye your hair with dirty hair, but I am tired of like procrastinating and doing this and then just like always putting my hair up because I'm like 
I'm not embarrassed of my grays, but like, it's just not like a cute look unless you're like all gray. I love that look, um, but that will take time. It'll take years that I don't have right now. Um, so I'll show you guys that process when I do it. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, I was going to dye my hair, but I'm really hungry. So I'll show you guys what I'm going to eat. Um, generally throughout the day, I eat pretty light, um, especially because I'm not working out right now. Um, so I kind of don't really have much of an appetite. Um, so I'm gonna have Greek yogurt and fruit. It's usually like my go-to when I don't know what, what to eat. I've been eating lactose-free. I'm just gonna set you guys down here. So I've been eating lactose free um, to see if that helps with my digestion issues. Um, so I have lactose free Greek yogurt plain, so no sugar, and then raspberries, blackberries to get my sugar. And then one second. And then because Greek yogurt is gross, <laughs> plain, not gross in general, just gross plain. I need somewhere to put you guys that's like higher. Um, yeah, so I add the skinny syrup, zero calories, zero sugar. Um, I usually just add like a cap full of that. And then the cashew goline um, granola. This is the honey almond flax crunch. And I probably put about like 25 grams of this. Um, I'm just in the habit of weighing every, like my yogurt and my granola and stuff like that. There's like certain things that I'm in habit because like back in the day when I used to work out a lot, I used to track my food. Um, so it's just a habit to make sure that I don't go overboard or I don't go under. Cause like I said, like a lot of the time I forget to eat, which is a problem too, especially for women. Uh, because it can extremely like it can script your hormones and your metabolism and, and everything like that. Um, so I'm just gonna get a bowl. We put our plates in the drawer this time and I don't know how I feel about it. It feels like the drawer is like very heavy. I don't know. We gotta play around play around with it. Um, and then I need to get my scale and a spoon. So this scale we got from Amazon, um, it's the Renfo scale. We also have like the body weight composition scale. So that's the one we use to like weigh ourselves. Um, it works really well, I find. And what I like about the the body weight scale is it like has this like app. So it like shows like your weight and like your muscle mass and your BMI and like everything like that. So I usually put anywhere between 175 and 200 grams. Oh, excuse me. So like that's 193 plus a little bit more on the spoon. Um, and then just like a cap full of the skinny syrup. Then I like to mix that in. care how many berries I put in I just kind of put, put it in I 
I usually only like to use blackberries or raspberries for for this because I like to like smush them up. Um, so I like smush them up till they're like basically like a jam inside of the yogurt. So I'm gonna eat my lunch breakfast ish and um and then we'll dye my hair okay excuse the light in here this bathroom has like some weird mood lighting i do have like a ring light here but okay so i'm gonna dye my roots um the first time doing this in this house oh god i hate how orange my hair looks i should just do the whole thing anyways so like i said i'm going in with the root touch up uh, all right so it comes with like a little brush it's just like a little thing like this you mix these two things together um comes with a little brush honestly like it says it's permanent but i wouldn't really say it's permanent like it definitely washes out after a while um and i have like those really stubborn grays where it's like super persistent like through through any color um so like it doesn't really like dye them brown it kind of just like doesn't make them like gray if that makes any sense i find it's the best one that works for me right now though so I just, we just put the stuff in the bottle. I'm wearing like a pajama shirt. Um, I make sure I have a clip and like a comb. And put the top back on and shake it up. Like all hair dyes, it comes with gloves. Okay, I thought this was weird for a second. It says, due to increased product demands, our root touch-up bottle has changed temporarily, but we are sure that it's still the same product with the same amount of product inside. We assure you that it has provided the same color results. Yeah, because it used to have like this, it has this like easy application. Weird. I was just thinking, like, am I just going to have to pour this on my head? Hmm. I wonder if I should get a bowl. Okay, so I poured that into a little bowl. Alright, so I just like to start in the middle. And this is so weird. I feel like there's not much product. Okay, I'm probably just gonna put some music on and fast forward through this and I will show you guys the end result after a shower. came home early. You want to say hi? We're going to go play outside. <laughs> We're going to play outside? Let's put your shoes on so we can go outside. Put your shoes on. 
doesn't listen at daycare. Which the thing is because he doesn't actually nap, which makes him a tyrant. Um, so I'm not sure like what we're gonna do. I refuse to Take your time. like parent him with fear. Um, fear of God and <laughs> no. I refuse to do that, so I don't know. Get his water. He's just like super high energy, wants to do what he wants to do when he wants to do it. Um, but we find when he's well rested and fed and hydrated, he's actually very good. We really don't like our daycare, so. Our backyard is a hot mess. But our next project is a patio. So we just have like shit everywhere. Like... Hey, buddy. Oh, can you hear the thunderstorm? Can you hear the thunderstorm? There's the ball. I can't believe we already have to mow the lawn again. I feel like we just did it a couple days ago. It was a week ago. Bob. Hey, Bob. Bob, where's the ball? No, Bob. Oh, there it is. Hey. Oh, get it. Get it from my Gibson. Oh, Gibson got it. Hey, Bob. <laughs> Throw the ball. Gibson. Gibson, attack him. It's um like marinated. Looks like it has a lot of garlic. Um, we can we have quinoa, not quinoa, um, couscous. We've been getting all of our meat from the butcher like our favorite butcher that we had when we lived here two years ago. Um, so we are, did you put the ball in there? Or? So we've been getting all our meat from there. So we got, for dinner, we're gonna have chicken and probably couscous. Uh-oh, Odin's running towards the road. Odin, come. Sky. Okay, I gotta deal with this. Sorry I dropped off there. Odin was um, running into the road. Um, yeah, so we had to deal with that. And then he's been crying. Sorry, he's been crying ever since he came home. Like, we are really not happy with... Sorry. We're not really not happy with his daycare. Um, like this attitude change has started since we started at that daycare. Um, I just don't think he's getting the care that he needs or like the sleep that he needs. And yeah, so anyways, um, I got to do some work for my MBA. I got a lot of reading to do. Um, so I'm probably going to call it a night here. Um, we already had dinner. We yeah, had a pretty early dinner actually. Um, there's a huge storm here. We've lost power like three times. Um, Odin is finally calmed down, so I'm going to try to get some work done uh, and, to, and basically do some readings. Sorry, it sounds like he's playing very loudly downstairs. Um, yeah, so um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a long video, so if you've made it this far, thank you. Uh, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.